going on YouTube got another video for you this time I'm gonna talk about the bike a little bit more that Vulcan S this video is gonna be about the five things that I love about my Vulcan S now at the time of this video oh shit god damn it dude Now at the time of this video, other than my grips and my mirrors, this bike is stock. While it's stock, I like to talk about the five things I like about it. Hey look, another biker. Anyways, so the top five things I love about this bike. Number one, the styling. I love how it looks. It definitely stands out. That's actually the first thing that caught my mind when I was looking at a bike to, to buy. And I was looking at the Honda Shadow, you know, Yamaha Bold, other mid-sized cruisers, and I came across the Vulcan S, and I was like, wow, that, that bike looks nice. Matter of fact, it's uh, kind of an eye-catcher and kind of a attention drawer, I guess you could say. It's actually quite common for me to get people to... Uh, or for people to, you know, come up to me and compliment me on the bike, how it looks, and ask me about it and whatnot. Why so slow, bro? But yeah, so, number one, styling, how it looks. Number two, it's comfort. A lot of you may know that these come with that ErgoFit system, which means when you buy them at a dealership, you can get, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, short, mid, and extended reach handlebars, seats, and foot pegs. I'm 5'7", so I got intermediate uh, intermediate controls all around. But if you're a taller person, you get you get extended uh, controls. If you want to, if you're a shorter person, you get smaller, uh, the shorter controls or whatever it's called. Very comfortable in that aspect. Plus I love how they designed it to be a uh, foot controls forward, pretty much a neutral uh, sitting position. So, very, very comfortable in that aspect. Number three is its performance. Now, it's a 650, not the biggest uh, engine you could fit on a cruiser. Definitely not the biggest engine you could fit on a mid-size cruiser. The Yamaha Bolt has a bigger engine. I know a lot of Harleys in this segment have bigger engines. Victory Octane, I think, is in this segment. That, that has a bigger engine. Even the Honda Shadow 750, bigger engine, but you definitely get some pretty damn good performance out of this 650 engine. Very proven engine. They've used it on their Versus and their Ninja. Just tuned, you know, more appropriately for a cruiser bike. Good low and mid-range torque. It's not the fastest thing, but it'll get up to the, it'll get up to speed pretty quickly. Number four is its handling. It is one of the lightest, if not the lightest, mid-size cruiser on the market. Sitting at about 490, 495 pounds, wet. But man, is it is it flickable? It could definitely be thrown around like it's cool. I've definitely weaved in and out of traffic with this bike pretty damn easily. Speaking of. Oh shit, that hurt. It's really flickable, maneuverable, it's light. You can move it around by yourself, you know, like no problem. To be quite honest, I haven't leaned this bike to its full potential yet. But from what I've been uh, hearing and seeing from people who uh, own this bike longer than I have, that you could definitely, definitely uh, scrape the pegs on these, no problem. Stay right there. Number five will have to be the overall ease of use of this bike as well as its uh, user-friendly aspects. This is uh, touted as one of the best right now on the market, one of the best starter bikes you could get. Not too powerful, 
for a beginner, for a novice, but not too, uh, not too weak to where you'd feel like you have to like sell it to get something bigger later on. At least not for a while. You stay right there, dude. This kind of ties into pretty much everything else on this list. Performance, handling, it's comfort, everything. All ties into it being easy, an easy bike to handle, an easy bike to use. Even down to its uh, gauge cluster. Easy to read tachometer. Bright, not bright, but it's large and easy to read. A digital speedometer as well as its various features on the speedometer like right now I got the range my that's my gas my, that's my gas mileage right now estimated gas mileage range but you can switch it I mean I'm kind of riding right now but you can switch it. a fuel gauge a clock and uh, a little thing called it's like this eco symbol that comes up I guess when you're in a certain rpm on a certain like gear it pops up to show you that hey you're driving economically which you know it's fine and all <laughs> so yeah there right there is uh the uh top five things that i love about my kawasaki vulcan s thanks for watching like subscribe share all that good stuff if you want and i'll see y'all in the next one hey!